today in the Daily Dose. Clipper Ships Born on the Chesapeake Bay from 1795 to 1815, the predecessor to the golden age of clipper ships were small, exceedingly fast sailboats with a cargo capacity less than 200 tons. Generally rigged as schooners or brigantines, their hulls were sharp-ended with a steep dead rise, which eventually morphed into Baltimore clipper ships like the Chaucer, which was built at a Baltimore shipyard in 1814. Known for their deep drafts, which allowed them to sail closer to the wind, Baltimore clippers soon gained a reputation for unheard of sailing speeds, which allowed them to outrun Great Britain's blockade of American ports during the War of 1812. From the 1810s to the 1820s, Baltimore clippers were generally used by slave smugglers or privateers. By the late 1830s, however, merchants importing high-value goods from China expanded the Baltimore clippers' design during the golden age of the clipper ship, which saw the introduction of three-masted, full-rigged ships with square sails, built for speed rather than cargo capacity. Nautical designers during the 1840s and 50s sharpened the bow and stern of their designs, at the same time adding so much sail area that clipper ship merchants were obliged to employ 50 to 60 crew members per clipper ship to handle such massive amounts of canvas. Clippers generally imported expensive teas from China or shipped dry goods and provisions to San Francisco during the high water years of the gold rush. Clipper ship merchants also smuggled opium into China by offering bribes to corrupt Chinese officials who were otherwise charged with blocking opium from entering Chinese ports. As a result, millions of Chinese peasants became addicted or died from opium, leading to the opium wars that ushered in China's century of humiliation. Many clipper merchants challenged their skippers and crews to break sailing records held by competitors, leading Captain Josiah Creasy aboard the massive clipper ship Flying Cloud to make a record-setting passage from New York to San Francisco in 1854 in just 89 days and 21 hours, a record that would stand until a racing yacht named Thursday's Child beat Creasy's time by eight days in 1989. The golden age of clipper ships ended with the advent of railroads, first across the Isthmus of Panama and later across the American continent, which stripped profitability from low-capacity clipper ships. The advent of steamships and transatlantic communication cables further hasten their demise, sending once majestic clipper ships to watery graves the world over. And there you have it, the golden age of clipper ships, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.